I was talking to my mum the other night about how you need to look after yourself because as you get older these things come back and catch up with you and my mum made this great comment that was that your body is a temple not an amusement park and I love that I want to use that elsewhere and the reason this came up in conversation is because my brother has recently been having some tests um, he had a sore throat like permanently and of course that creates concern so he's been to see somebody about it and it turns out he has something called a higher a hiatus hernia which apparently is incredibly common in the over 50s and it's when the stomach starts to move up into the chest cavity and people might freak out about that but um, any woman who has been pregnant probably should know that when you are pregnant and as the baby grows inside you all your internal organs are shifted up into your chest cavity so that's not a completely unknown thing but apparently these these types of hernias are very very common as you get older and what it does it creates like a reflux and that reflux comes back up and it's the stomach acid basically and it can irritate the throat and that's what's happened but because of this and because he's now got this sore throat he's now developed a bit of sleep apnea which means that he's not getting the quality of sleep that he needs now the the ENT that they saw said this can be triggered by stress and my brother is much like my mum, doesn't deal with stress well, um, anxiety, quite anxious, and has built a life around himself which is stressful. Um, and he doesn't cope with it very well. And so I was like Googling and saying, well, these are the things he can do. It doesn't necessarily mean that he needs to have anything done. He needs to get in better control of his life. He needs to look at his diet. There are all sorts of things that can make it worse. You know, alcohol is bad for you. Surprise, surprise. Caffeine doesn't help. Um, fatty foods and things like that, things that can trigger reflux actions. Apparently eating little and often is better than eating larger meals isolated because it helps with the digestion and all that sort of thing that goes on in your stomach so we were talking about that and yeah it reminded me of something else um, so my best friend um, and her partner have two boys they are my godsons and when their first son was born it was a very very stressful time and as he got older became a toddler it was clear there was something wrong with him he wasn't developing normally and that continued for six years until he was finally statemented as um, having autism and ADHD um, but those first six years were very stressful because they weren't getting any kind of help because he didn't have a diagnosis and her partner her partner's reaction because he also doesn't deal that well with stress and it was such a stressful situation that his immune system turned against him and all his hair fell out I mean all his hair on his entire body fell out he lost everything he lost his hair his eyebrows his eyelashes everything and it's never come back um, because the body if you get under a lot of stress the body can turn and attack itself with the immune system so what it what it can it, it can do it in a much more dramatic way but it can do it in very subtle ways like it can attack the hair follicles and that's what happened to him he's never got his hair back and he probably never will and um, there are one or two um, celebrities out there who I think have had a similar situation and it goes to show that your your mental well-being looking after it is just as important as looking after your physical health and these are things that if you don't learn to manage in your younger years will come back and bite you when you're older so I'm trying to look after myself better um, from a physical standpoint I know I need to lose weight I need to do more exercise I know that I feel like I've mastered everything else I've removed all the stress from my life I have 
uh, there's a reason I'm single, there's a reason I don't have kids, there's a reason I like to live on my own, and it's all to do with managing my own levels of stress and feeling in control and being content with my life, which means that when stressful situations do come along, they're easier to cope with because I'm not piling them on top of other stressful situations. So I'm generally a very calm person. If a problem comes up, I'm able to work through it logically instead of panicking about it because I can focus on that one thing at a time. And hopefully going forward, that will continue to be the case. So it's really, really important that you get your mental health under control as well as your physical because they will come back to get you. Now, my brother is two years younger than me. He is definitely fitter than me. He doesn't have the weight problems I have, but he has huge amounts of stress in his life through various things. And that is going to come back to get him at some point. And because of the stress, he's now he now has potentially physical things which will stay with him for a long time or may come back and get him another time. And so although he looks fit and healthy, inside there are things going wrong because he doesn't manage his, his mental health and his mental well-being. So it's really important. Stress can be incredibly damaging. And I don't think enough people realise that mental stress can be incredibly damaging to your physical health. Your body reacts, your body and your mind are all part of the same thing. And if one goes wrong, it can affect the other one quite dramatically. So it's if you need to get that kind of stuff under control, if you're worried about how it's going to affect you in the future, take steps to do things about it. If you have stress in your life, and it's possible, remove those elements of stress. I was able to do it, but I'd always kept my life in check to a point where it didn't run away with me so I was able to make the changes I needed to I've always protected myself I've always thought ahead to what I need to do to ensure that I'm okay and that means that I'm able to cope with things as and when they come along so do think about that it's really important to get both your physical and mental health under control because one will affect the other if you don't. And it's worth looking after yourself now. Let's say, I would say under 40, you really need to keep yourself in check. And the problem is that everyone wants to live a life of fun now. We want to eat what we want to eat. We want to drink what we want to drink. We want to smoke what we want to smoke. I mean, two sets of my neighbours are big weed smokers. So there, there are regular um, delivery driver visits with takeaways. There's a lot of alcohol and there's a lot of weed being smoked. And people say, oh, it's just recreational. But if you have to do it all day, every day, there's a problem there. There is a problem. Um, the girl who lives three doors down She's got a partner, I don't know if they're married, and two young children. And as soon as the kids have gone to school, she just sits out in the garden and smokes weed all day. Because you can smell it. You can see the clouds coming over the, over the fence. And when the weather's nice and I have my windows open, I often have to shut my windows because the smell of weed coming in through the windows is crazy. And people think, oh, it's just recreational. But it's a gateway drug. And if you're having to do it every day, there's a problem there. That's like saying you have to have, drink a glass of wine every day. That's a problem. That is a problem. And you need to, to look at that. And that will also affect your mental health as well as your physical health. And maybe that makes life a little bit boring, but find other ways to entertain yourself. It's not all about getting high and eating and whatever. We've lost the way as to what's important in life. We have become addicted to indulgence and things that we think are human rights, which really aren't. I mean, TV subscriptions and <laughs> delivery orders are not 
are not basic human requirements and I think retailers have helped to, for us to lose our way completely as to what actually matters in life and I feel I feel we're potentially on a downward trajectory if we don't take control of our lives better anyway that's um that's my my thoughts this is weekend thoughts but I don't know when they're going to come out but um it might make you think a little bit about where you want to go in life and to a certain degree we all have a semblance of control over our lives you can't blame everything on the system that's my thoughts for the day catch you soon bye bye